where do your podcast ideas come from? Like, where do you actually get them? Because I'm lost and I don't know what to talk about. This is something I hear actually quite often from people in my podcast community. And if you've had this question too, then you're going to find today's video very helpful. So let's get right to it. Hey y'all, Crystal here today, and we're talking about where your podcast ideas come from. So I'm going to approach this two ways. If you're a brand new podcaster, meaning you actually have never even published any content, then I have one approach for you. And if you're someone that's been podcasting for a hot minute, then I have a different approach for you. But first, let's go to those of you that are beginners. There are some videos that I want you to check out right here that can really help you decide what should I talk about and some kind of things to avoid when you're coming up with your podcast topics because people can often shove way too much information into one podcast episode. So I want you to avoid that at all cost. You want to be sure to be as clear and focused as possible in all of your episodes. But as you're developing ideas for your podcast, I want you to start paying attention to the conversations you're already having about your podcast topic. Here's an example. Before I started really teaching podcasting on my podcast, this is the Profit Podcast. It's where I know it's so meta, like it's podcasting, about podcasting, about podcasting, like it goes several layers deep. I do realize that. But before I started this show, I was getting questions all of the time. How do you start a podcast? How do you launch a podcast? How do you monetize a podcast? How do you market the thing? How do you talk about it on social media? And it's these initial questions that I used to launch this podcast because it's what people were already asking me. It's what I was already talking about. So if you have a topic, let's call it fitness, right? You have a fitness podcast that you're looking to launch. You're getting ready to start it. Sit down and ask yourself, what are the questions that I get asked all the time? What are people emailing you about? What are you getting DMs about? What are people just walking up to you and saying, hey, I have a question about fitness. What are those things? Because it's a good clue to understand this is what people want you to talk about on a podcast. So that's for my newbies, my beginners. Pay attention to the conversations that are already happening around your topic, and you're going to find some clues on what you should start with. Now, for those of you that are seasoned, you actually have a little bit more of an advantage because you can go back and look at all of your content and see what's performing the best, what's getting the most amount of downloads. You can go back to your last 10 episodes and see, is there one particular episode that stands out above the rest? If there's one, then you can grab it and say, what did people love about this episode? This is why getting, you know, listener feedback is super, super important and being engaged with your audience. Make sure you watch this video right here on having a Facebook group or a community and why it's really important to have that engagement with your people. But this is where I get most of my ideas. I'll go back, I'll find an episode that was really popular with my audience, and then I turn around and ask them on social media and an email, and I'll say, what did you love about this episode? Or what else do you want to know about this topic? And that leads me to some pretty good clues. That way I can create future content that my audience loves that will keep them engaged and will hopefully give me some more clues to other pieces of content that I can create in the future. But that's all I have for you today. A quick lesson in where I get my content ideas for my podcast. So I hope you found today's video helpful. Make sure you hit the thumbs up if you did and subscribe. Subscribe below, that way you don't miss our future videos all about podcasting and running your online business. Make sure you check out these other videos right here, all about podcasting and running your online business. And as always, remember, keep it up. We all have to start somewhere.